Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I came up with another interesting scenario uh, through which the resolution we will do with the power query again. Okay, so the requirement is very simple. So suppose let's take you are maintaining your data inside a file. Okay, so inside the file means there is a chance of the data loss. Okay, because whoever the access they can sometimes they have the all the access they can delete it, they can modify it. So this kind of scenario can happen. So here the scenario is suppose you are maintaining a employee and their salary information in certain file. Okay, so here this file is employee current salary. So there is some employee ID and their salary basic things. But what happen is, so daily I am taking the backup of this file. So just before that and what I identified today is that the backup which I took yesterday, the same file and the current file are different. Okay, so here I have around 15 rows are there on the current file. When I took the yesterday backup file, this backup file, this is my backup file where I have 19 rows. So there are four rows got deleted and there could be chances that the employees which were there in the current salary, that salary got also modified. Now our task is to identify what are the changes happen. Okay, which are the four rows got deleted? Second, which are the salary got modified as per the backup? Okay, so that is the resolution or that is the each case here in this case and it will solve to the power query with the merge joins and all. Let's see how to take this. So I already loaded the data into the Power BI. Let's go to the Power BI here and I have loaded loaded the file. This is the current salary. So only it is for the 15, 15 rows. Where is the backup salary? It is almost getting the 19 rows. Okay. So let's now do a merge queries. Merge queries current salary with my backup salary. In this case, I want to go with the employee ID and employee ID with this time I want all the records from the first table, second table, doesn't matter, left, right, everything. So I will go for a full auto join here in this case. Okay, this is the thing. And one more thing, suppose you have a three, four columns like employee ID, employee name, then designation, then the salary, here also same thing. Then we need to, when we are joining this three, joining this kind of three columns, we need to select employee ID, then employee name, then designation, same to select from the backup also the same same order employee id employee name designation whichever column is there you to select then based on that do the full auto gen then only it will work okay so now let's click on the full auto gen here okay so now wherever there is no changes we'll get the data okay and let's see where is the null? Hmm. Okay, let's expand this. Uh, I need the uh, original name and let's select employee ID and salary both. Okay, now expand it. I expanded it. Right. So if you see this, now I have expanded this employee ID is coming from my current salary and this is come from the, the backup salary. Okay, so here if you see there is a two nulls here, 1019760T. This row got deleted, this row got deleted, okay, and this row got also deleted. So there are, wherever there is a, in the current salary there are nulls, those are the rows got deleted. But we want this we identified, but I want to see another way, another things is that whether I want to compare this salary with this salary whether that is same or not. If it is not same, I want to display it where that got modified, right? So for that, what I need to do, I will create a conditional column here. Sorry, I don't want to select anything. Click on the conditional column and let's take the flag. Okay, flag is what I will say salary, okay, equals another column, I will say the backup salary if it is equal I don't want to display anything else I want to say yes 
is not equal okay so if you see there are a couple of rows wherever there is a yes okay is coming so what i need to do here just filter the flag column and i want to display only the yes part so that will qualify whether the rows got deleted or uh, any modification to the salary okay so yes so now we found that for this first row there was a changes on the salary if you see yes and this record got deleted this record got deleted here also there is a change in the salary here also this got deleted this got deleted and in this case the last one 1026 there is a modification of your salary so this is the way you can get your uh, the details like what is the update or any kind of deletion or any kind of things happen this way you can get it okay okay hope you like this video please please do subscribe to this channel for more interesting content like this and uh, thank you and have a nice day